smile and the world smiles with you. Why? Because we have to. That's because neurons that fire both when we observe and when we take part in an action are called mirror neurons. When we see someone smile, mirror neurons simulate our own smiling, and smiling is actually one of the most important nonverbal communication skills we possess, and it's sort of like a social contract that we enter into with others. We're communicating to others that everything is a-okay. Nothing to see here. Move on. And here is a staggering statistic. Kids smile 400 times a day. The average adult, just 20. In a TED Talk by Ron Gutman, The Hidden Power of Smiling, Gutman claims that we begin to smile in the womb, and he points to a British study that shows that smiling has a profound effect on the reward part of the brain. One smile, he says, is worth the sort of brain activation that 2,000 chocolate bars might elicit. Insert dubious eyebrow raising here. Charles Darwin, yes, that Charles Darwin, Darwin theorized that facial expressions don't necessarily function as a broadcast service of your mind's mental state, but that, at times, facial expressions actually determine determine your mental state. And several studies show that he was right on the money. In a mimicking study, subjects were asked to look at photos of people smiling and determine whether a smile was real or fake while holding a pencil in their mouths, which repressed the smiling muscles. Without the pencil, the participants did a great job identifying which images of smiles were real and which were fake. But when they had the pencil in their mouths, their ability to ferret out the fakes was impaired. Why? because they couldn't physically mirror what they were looking at, and as a result, the micro-movements of their muscles weren't able to signal to the brain the emotions they were experiencing. And if they couldn't smile, they couldn't experience the emotional lift that came with it. So there's that, and a Penn State University study that found that people who flash their pearly whites not only spread the love and appear more happy and courteous, but they also appear to be more competent in the eyes of others. So why else smile? Well, it can also help reduce stress inducing hormones like adrenaline and cortisol and increase mood enhancing hormones like endorphins, not to mention reducing overall blood pressure. But for those of you who are smile averse and you don't want to turn that frown upside down, you can always look at a kid who's smiling 400 times a day and get a vicarious jolt of happy. So what about you? Do you fake it till you make it? Do you sometimes smile and find that you actually feel happier? Also, we have a challenge for you. We want you to use a pencil or a pen, stick it in your mouth, and then watch the funniest movie you've ever seen. Does it affect the way that you view it? Let us know in the comments below and make sure to subscribe.